Hello, my name is Nikita Belousov, and today yet another article is going to be rendered. The headline of this article is Drug brings remarkable improvement for boy, and it's written by Elizabeth Cohen, a senior medical correspondent for CNN. The article is concerned with the story of a severely ill seven-year-old boy who was treated with an experimental drug called Brincidophobia. The purpose of the article is to raise awareness of such certainly vital problem as experimental drug use in patients who cannot get better any other way. The author starts by telling the readers about Josh Hardy, who had been very sick, having heart and kidney failure and bloody vomit but who quickly got better thanks to just a couple of doses of an experimental drug. Quoting the test results, the level of adenovirus in the boy's blood drastically went down in no more than a week. The adenovirus is a very serious infection, especially so in a patient whose immune system is extremely vulnerable due to, in this case, a previous cancer treatment. The only antiviral drug available on the market wasn't working, so there was no hope left but for the new medicine. At first, Chimerix, the company that makes the drug, refused to give Josh the treatment, and it took a lot of mass media and social media pressure to work out a way so that the boy could have the experimental drug. The author underlines that drug companies are usually not allowed to use patients as study subjects, so every case has to be a pure charity work. Thankfully, the Food and, the Food and Drug Administration allowed Chimerix to use data received from Josh and the future adenovirus patients as part of the FDA application, which will help the drug to get to the markets a lot faster. The author passes on to say that, sadly, the treatment Josh has finally got was received a little bit too late, so the damage has his kidneys had suffered might now be permanent. The boy has to be on dialysis, and the parents are bothered by the fact that if he got, if he got treated sooner, it could have been prevented. In conclusion, the author tells us that Josh's mother is also worried about his attitude about the illness, which seems to be getting worse because of exhaustion after so much time spent sick. I have found the article truly urgent, because it speaks to my own problems as well. A lot of patients need to receive drugs which are not yet approved, but could really change one's health for the better. Hopefully, there will soon be a way such patients as Josh could be treated as fast as possible. The article is pretty expressive, as it has all the important information for the reader to get into this topic delivered in a compact way. There is hardly any personal opinion, it just states the facts. So, that's it for today's article. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.